We're going to begin, of course, with that deadly helicopter crash here in New York. That is a live shot of the scene right now. The helicopter underneath those yellow pontoons in the East River. It happened around 7 p.m. last night. A tourist chopper landed right there, flipped over in the East River. The pilot managed to escape. All five passengers on board were killed. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the scene with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Hey, George, good morning to you. The helicopter crashed right behind me here in the East River, and it just sank so quickly. That's what witnesses describe. Rescuers desperately tried to help the people inside. The midair emergency captured on camera. The pilot of the chopper frantically radioing for help as he crashes into the water. Is there a limo cell? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Is there a limo cell? Are you okay? East River, engine failure. I'm sorry, say again? East River, engine failure. They come a little broken. I'd say it one more time. It was a mayday call, LaGuardia. Okay, got it. The helicopter's blades still spinning as the aircraft flips over in the 40 degree water and begins to sink. We're all still really, like, really shaken up. There were a lot of screams. Um, it, it was just really horrifying. The pilot, identified as 33 year old Richard Vance, manages to free himself and scream for help from a flotation device. A fireboat brought him to shore. The Marine 6 does have one diver in the water. The five passengers who charted the chopper for a photo shoot were harnessed in so tightly, divers struggled to get them out. The harnesses were in place so passengers could take pictures with the doors open. It took a while for the divers to get these people out. They worked very quickly, as fast as they could. Two died at the scene, three later in the hospital. Moments before the crash, witnesses snapped these photos of the chopper flying at normal altitude over the Statue of Liberty. Arena Nazarian tells me that she was having dinner in a high rise when she saw the crash happen. It headed towards the water at full speed, and then it slowed down. It hit the water um, fairly gently, but then um, Within seconds, you started seeing it submerge. The helicopter was operated by the tour company Liberty Helicopters. Its website claims it has been flying safely for over 30 years. But FAA records show at least two accidents for Liberty Helicopters. One in 2009 with an airplane resulted in nine deaths, though the NTSB blamed that crash on many factors, not just the helicopter pilot. And we are told that the pilot is okay. He's speaking with investigators. The NTSB, of course, is investigating this. They're going to make a final ruling. But right now, officials believe that this was just an accident, George. Okay, Gio, thanks very much. Let's bring in our aviation expert, Steve Ganyard, for more on this. And, Steve, let's put up that video again. Tell us what you see happening here. George, um, a single engine helicopter, when it loses its engine, can actually glide. So it uses the energy that's left over in those rotors and just like a, a fixed wing airplane, can glide to a safe landing. The pilot, I think, does a really good job getting the uh, helicopter safely into the water. It's a fairly controlled crash. What happened afterwards when the airplane hits that really cold water and flips upside down, that's where the tragedy yeah, occurred. But, but you're saying if this were a different time of year, it may have been survivable for all the passengers. I think so, George. I think if it had been July where that water had been warm, I think it would have been survivable. That water I looked up at the time of the mishap last night was 39 degrees. That's the temperature your refrigerator is at. That shock of the cold of hitting in the, the uh, unexpected crash in the water and that shock can be debilitating. And so people have this four-point harness that they've probably never used before. They don't know how to get out of it. You hit the water hard. You have that cold water rushing in and you panic and you're not able to get yourself out of that helicopter. But you're saying that's the kind of, that's the kind of harness that military pilots like you would be trained to get out of. One of the reasons perhaps the pilot was able to get out. Exactly. The pilot knew what to do because he wears that harness every day. In the Navy and the Marine Corps, you're trained. If you're ever going to fly in a helicopter, you're put in a helo dunker, a machine that actually takes you underwater and flips you up upside down, and it saved countless lives. But these poor civilians out for a you know a sun, nice Sunday flight uh, were encountered something that was very very difficult yeah, to just, survive. Just a shocking tragedy. Okay.